18 piglets that were rescued from a fire have been turned into sausages and served to the firefighters who saved them. Yep, in February, the baby pigs and the two sows were in danger of perishing in a fire that broke out at a farm in Wiltshire. It was a very serious blaze. A wall of hay weighing 60 tonnes was alight and the family of pigs was stuck behind it. The farmer, Rachel Rivers, wanted to say thank you to the firefighters for their heroics in saving the animals. And a few months later, she took 36 sausages to Pusey Fire Station as a gift. The sausages were made from the rescued pigs. The firefighters then cooked them on a disposable barbecue and took pictures. And they said the bangers were fantastic. And there the story might end, except that not everyone appreciates the gesture or the response. People on the BBC Wiltshire Facebook page have questioned the suitability of the sausages as a thank you gift, given that the pigs were rescued. Pearl Lucia Sayre asks, what is wrong with giving the farmer a box of chocolates? Kimberly Fanelli says it's horrible, just horrible. Critics point out it's illogical to thank the firefighters by serving up the very animals they saved. At least it shows we are so hypocritical when it comes to animals we care for and eat. So we go live to a field in Wiltshire to talk to the people who run the farm, and Rachel Rivers is on the line. Hi, Rachel. Oh, good morning. Good, oh, good afternoon, Jeremy. And the farm owner is Canon Gerald Osborne, who's a vicar now. So Gerald will be with you in a second or two. Yep. Uh, Rachel, first. So the, firstly, tell me about the blaze. The blaze was horrific. It's, it started about 9.30 uh, on a cold evening in February, and it was an electrical fault. And we had two sows and 18 piglets in the, in the barn keeping warm. Is that, is, and, that, uh, is that Gerald in the background? No, that's a cow. Sorry. OK, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And um, we, uh, yes, the firefighters came and they got the blaze under control. We moved the piglets out and rescued the piglets. Yep. So, well, OK, so there's a lot of stress there because the hay caught fire and you've got property, but you've got life, albeit animal life, there too. Yes, absolutely, which is and more the, important. And we should say, while we're praising the fire officers, that they are retained firefighters, is that right? Yes, Pusey and Marlborough are retained firefighters. We don't have a permanent fire crew there and they're a great bunch of lads. So they got... The, how much damage was there in the end? Uh, we had to have a new back and roof on the, the barn. We lost 60 tonnes of hay, so we had to replace the hay by buying it in and have the barn uh, rebuilt. Did any animals die? No, none. They were all saved. And so that's 18 two-week-old piglets? 18 two-week-old piglets and um, two sows as well. So now that the tricky bit, uh, you yeah. the, the piglets then get older... And as, yeah. as happens to pigs, they are then slaughtered for meat. Yep. Well, it's not tricky at all, really. It's, it's our livelihood. It's what we do. Um, you know, I think the firefighters really appreciate the sausages rather than a bunch of flowers, or maybe people would like me to have gone to Tesco's and buy some sausages for them. Well, I know it's this peculiar thing. It's just the... It, I suppose what's, what's worried some people is the, 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 the gift was made with the pigs they saved. It's that That's the peculiar part of it. Well, we didn't have any other pigs, so... Well, it, not to us it's not, because that's what we do. We farm, and that's the way, you know, we've given those animals the best life they could possibly have before they go to slaughter. We're a 900-acre organic farm, and um, we they're fed... They're, they free-range in a 10-acre field. They're fed with the grain that we produce on the farm. Um, so we don't buy in any food. We know exactly what we're putting into the pigs. And the result is excellent sausages. Well, conveniently, the, the owner of the farm is a vicar, Canon Gerald Osborne, who's the rural dean of Pusey. So you've... or Pusey Vale. Yep. Um, so, so, Gerald, are you there? Yeah, hold on. Hello? Uh, hello there. Yes, uh, uh, hello, Gary. What do you make of the, the morality of this interesting tale? Um, well, I, as a, as, as a farmer, reckon, I mean, uh, I'm a steward of all that um, on the farm, and the farm is about stewardship. It's about raising animals. We're an organic farm, and on an organic farm, you need animals for the fertility of the soil and for looking after the environment. And we raise um, animals, um, and we give them the best life we can, uh, by sending them to a local abattoir, we um, give them the most respectful death we can, and so and then um, the inevitable part of 
um, farming is the death of an animal and it gives us the food to eat. And when the sausages were given to the firefighters, were, were you, did you expect the reaction that you've had from some quarters? Uh, no, we certainly didn't. I mean, the, the firefighters themselves were very grateful, and they, they were, um, we are very grateful to them. I mean, the, as Rachel said, they did a tremendous job on that night, and they, uh, they relished the, 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 the sausages, and people who locally who have um, eaten them know, know the story, and, and um, people have, have enjoyed them. So, obviously, I respect people who um, choose not to eat meat and um, who... Uh, for their own reasons, are vegetarian. But, um, uh, yes, I have been slightly surprised yeah, at and some of the reaction. Because there, we, there's quite a lot of vegan anger. Uh, yes, I mean, I, I, well, one uh, appreciates that there are people who don't like this and there are people who um, potentially um, get very upset. But uh, I have to uh, respect them for their opinion. But I think the vast majority of people... Um, uh, around the country um, like to tuck into their sausages and bacon for breakfast. What about another quick word with Rachel? Is she still there or is she back at, back at work now? Uh, yeah, yes, no, here she is. Hello? I was wondering, Rachel, whether maybe the, the, the rule here is that once an animal is rescued, it's no longer anonymous and, and that animals then... Animals that are rescued become pets. But, well, yes, in but not in a farming sense. How, what what are we supposed to do with a load of male pigs um, that we've rescued, or the firemen have rescued? Uh, what life? What what are we supposed to do with them? All right. Well, let's leave that question hanging. It's a very interesting question. Thank you very much, Rachel. Cheers, and Gerald as well. Okay. So we're talking about the the piglets that were saved from a fire and then given as sausages to the firemen as a thank you gift. And somebody who's not impressed is Siobhan Dolan from Viva, which is a vegan campaigning charity. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, what do you make of this story? So we're obviously quite distressed about this story. Um, we're really impressed that there's been so much media coverage um, of this story. Um, and we think that there's been a huge shift in um, consumer opinion. You know, there's sp sparked a lot of debate on uh, social media all across the country from people who are vegetarian, vegan and um, meat eaters. There, are, there may also be complaints from, from, as you say, meat eaters who they don't mind eating the sausages, but they don't ever want to know what the sausages came from. And, and in a way, the, the great thing about what the farmer's done here is that she said, look, these pigs were rescued, then they get older, then they get slaughtered, then we eat them. What's the problem? That's the chain. So the problem is, as we see it, is that animals aren't ours to use full stop. Um, and I was just listening to the farmer speak um, prior to the track he just played. And, you know, they, they spoke about how they lived a free-range life and they were fed, you know, crops from their farm. But unfortunately, all farmed animals face the same fate, which is slaughter. Um, and no matter how you dress it up, it's cruel and unnecessary. And over 60% of uh, farm pigs in the UK are slaughtered using gas, um, which uses carbon monoxide. And it's not an instant death. They struggle, they suffer. And I think regardless of how you dress it up, that it's an awful thing that is completely unnecessary. All right, let me bring in Colin Sutherland in Newbury. What do you make of that, Colin? Yeah, look, it's just another politically correct middle-class brigade who hasn't got a clue about the countryside. They're moving from the towns. Uh, they're moving to buy into the countryside. I run an organisation for, for I rescue birds of prey and we take birds of prey into care homes like nature as therapy. And all you get from the politically correct brigade is the same old rubbish. They want to go onto some of the farms and have a look. They're beautiful. Siobhan, have you? Woman, they're beautiful. Siobhan, have rubbish. you been on a you been on a farm recently? Uh, well, we've investigated a farm in Warwickshire recently, which was a factory farm, which I, I don't think is fair to compare to the farm that has been, um, you know, that we're talking sure. about. Also, I'm not sure what the connection is with the guy that's rescuing birds, with the story that we're discussing. Colin. But anyway, back. It's to obviously you don't get the message because. It's got the same connection. I'm talking about another politically correct uh, and load of nonsense. But we're Go not on a farm and see correctness. the majority of farms. Okay. They're beautiful. All right, Colin. Go on to any farmer in Britain and they're the best cared animals in the world. 
Yeah, I'm afraid any that of that today. strongly disagree with that. Over 90% of piglets reared in the UK are factory farmed, which means intensely farmed, which means they're crammed into tiny pens, they're pumped full of antibiotics, their tails are routinely docked, their back teeth are pulled out without anaesthetic. And I think it's very hard for anybody to look at that kind of footage and say that that's humane, fair treatment of animals. We, we, there was a story uh, just a, probably about a year ago, Siobhan, about some chickens that were in a truck that were being transported. I, I think it was 6,000 6, chickens. The uh, yeah. Do you remember this? The truck crashed. No humans were hurt. 1,500 chickens died. And the sort of strange thing is that of, of the 4,500 that were rescued, they were then rescued, put back in the truck and taken to an abattoir. But on the plus side, we actually managed to save some of those and take them to a sanctuary that we work very closely with in Wales. So I see, um, so there is a chicken sanctuary as well? There's, there's multiple animal sanctuaries all over the country. And going back to what Rachel just said about, you know, you said that the, um, you know, once the piglets had been rescued, surely wouldn't you want to take care of them and look after them? And she said, well, what should, what are we supposed to do with them? We work with a number of animal sanctuaries all across the country that would be, have been more than willing, would have been happy to take these piglets and save their lives rather than them being fed to the, the firefighters well, and save them. Maybe it does come down to the fact that if the piglets are lucky enough to escape death once, we don't put them through it again. We well, don't take them to an abattoir. No, it's an extremely cruel irony, this story. You know, that the firefighters risk their lives to save these animals, then only the farmer for them to, to send them to slaughter and to barbecue them out of all all forms of, uh, of cooking. But, yeah. you know, this goes back to, you know, we're supposed to be a nation of animal lovers. Um, you know, would we rescue a dog and turn it into a sausage? No. Why do we choose? Why do we choose to to keep at, to keep some animals and as companion animals and use others for for, for food? Yeah, or well, some people object to squirrels uh, being put in pies. That's true. But but then we put you know sheep and cows and everything else in pies. So why not? I think the main thing is is that this has sparked a lot of debate um, across the country and people have clearly been touched by this story. And I think the only advice that I can give to them is, is if, you know, you have been touched by this story and you feel some sort of connection with these animals that have been slaughtered, the only thing to do is to try a vegan lifestyle. It's cruelty-free, it's healthier, it's kinder, and, you know, even now we've got vegan bacon and vegan sausages, so there's, there's, no, there's been no better time to try a vegan lifestyle. Thanks very much for joining us from Brilliant. Viva. Thank you, Siobhan. Thank you. All the best. Come on again. Siobhan, from Viva, which is, a, as you could tell, a vegan campaigning charity.